In this video, let's talk about one of the biggest reasons why you're struggling with getting clients. And I remember back in the days when I first started out my coaching business, and this is exactly how I felt. Number one, I didn't know where to begin. And number two is even if I wanted to go out, there was a lot of fear of judgment that was holding inside of me. I don't know how to describe what I do. And plus, I felt embarrassed going out to the public and asking for business. And the big issue was the fact that I felt that in order for me to get any clients, it requires me to actually sit down or stand in front of the people and start asking them for money. And that to me was just something that I have never done before. I have spent 20 years in healthcare profession and most people come to me and very rarely do I ever have to ask for people's money. And that was like my number one big hurdle when I first started out just by allowing myself to position myself in front of people. And at the end of the day, in order to get that paying client, I would need to ask them, hey, if you do see the value, would you like to have a discovery call? And that was my big challenge for me in with the fact that I couldn't even simply ask, instead of having this conversation, would you be interested to jump on a call with me so that I can tell you more about how I work with clients. It was just a simple phrase like that. It was such a, a fear of judgment and rejection. I didn't want to hear no, but more importantly was because I didn't know how to approach them and I didn't know how to describe what is it that we're going to talk about. So these layers of fear to rejection and fear to judgment was the biggest challenge, I would say, that I had to uh, cross in order to even be remotely good at marketing. And if you really think about marketing is creating that conversation so someone is interested or someone can actually show that they're interested in your service, in your offer. And if you don't even have that small conversation with people, then pretty much you are stuck no matter how beautiful you design your coaching package or how beautiful your website looks. If you can't have that fundamental conversation with people, then you are not getting any paying clients. And it was just the reality that hit me so hard that it made me realize that in order for me to get any business and having this business at all, I would need to step out of my comfort zone and start doing the ask. And a lot of time I realize that Sometimes when we not do something, it's a number of reasons, right? It's because the time is never good. It's because it was too expensive. It, it was because the class was not the right time and my schedule was just too busy. And the reality is behind all that excuses, what really comes down to was the fear of creating something that may be so powerful that it would take me out of my comfort zone. It would take me into a complete new territory. And let's face it, it could be both way, right? It's a 50-50 chance of either you being successful or you completely fail and this business is just going to dissolve and it's just going to turn into a hobby rather than a full-time career that you ever dream of. Until you actually take that steps, and this is what I did, I took that step. And a lot of time I go back to that story that I share about how I was hacking Machu Picchu. I didn't just wake up overnight and decided, you know what, today is the day that I'm going to go on a hike. I was doing a lot of strategic planning. Was there fear? Was there doubt? Was there lack of confidence? Absolutely. Every step of the way and every single day I would wake up and thinking, oh, I don't want to go to the gym today. I'm so tired. My body is sore and I don't want to train. I don't want to go through this painful process. And plus, I don't know what is in Peru. What if I don't speak the language? What if I can't really communicate with someone? What if I fall and what if I die? And there's a lot out of what if, but until you allow yourself to be out there and start testing and talking to people and start getting comfortable about being in that uncomfortable zone, then you're always going to find yourself wishing that your business looks differently 
or you're always going to wish that if you have taken that first step, you wouldn't have wasted three or five years trying to figure things out. You wouldn't be thinking about the fact that I wish I had done something that Michelle told me to do five years ago. And I'm, I'm saying this out of love because I think a lot of us, including myself, sometimes we go into a complete new and strange territory that we have never done before. The first reaction is to retract and think about all the things that that's holding us back. But in reality, what's really holding you back is nobody but yourself. And so think about the fear that you have. Is it the fear to success or is it the fear of being rejected? And I can tell you that there's so many times where I hear the no throughout my entire career as a coach for the last five years. And there's not a single day where I don't beat myself up and thinking that I am not good enough. I, I am not doing enough. But the reality is when other people look at you, they want what you have. And the more that you are hiding behind the curtain, the less people that you're going to help. So the question is, are you going to allow your fear to stop you from helping people? Or would you rather be courageous and start being out there, even though it may be embarrassing, you may experience failure, you may come across a lot of uh, hurdle that you have to cross, but if this is what you want, and if helping people is your mission, then are you really truly living your mission where you are at?